Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2015 Winter 1's Midterm 1 Practice Problems. We're on Problem 1, Part 5, but we're keeping Part 4 around because Part 5 says to give and briefly justify, based on our tree from Part 4, a good big O bound on the runtime of this algorithm in terms of n. Now, why is it asking for a good big O bound instead of a good theta bound? And this comes back to the problems we did earlier. In fact, for an infinite number of problems sizes, this algorithm takes constant time to run because any time the length of the array is not divisible by four, the algorithm takes constant time to run. The analysis we did on the previous part was also for an infinite number of different problem sizes, but only those problem sizes that were powers of four. So what we did in the previous problem, like we said before, it really is a theta bound. It really is the case that we have a theta bound on the runtime of this recurrence relation. I shouldn't even say runtime, on the solution for this recurrence relation. But only when the recurrence relation applies for powers of four. For other cases, we can end up taking constant time. And so what we've done now is we've figured out, you remember before we drew this graph and we said, well, for most values, this thing takes constant time, but there's gonna be these spikes here and there. And they're not just on powers of four, but the powers of four are the ones that are really gonna stand out for us and they're the ones that we analyzed. Essentially what we've done now is we found some function that bounds those spikes nicely. And that function is square root of n. So this is a good big O bound, big O of square root of n. And our justification is mostly above. It's mostly all this work we did up here that was not just the tree. This was our tree here. This was our total cost. But then we went and we added up the total costs and we did all kinds of work on that to get to two square root of n minus one and this asymptotic bound of square root of n. That is basically our justification. The only additional justification we'd have to give is to say this can't go any slower. I can't take any longer to run for values of n that are not powers of four. And in fact, just saying that alone, since that's fairly obvious in this problem, if something's not a power of four, it's gonna hit the base case sooner. So it's gonna cut out portions of this tree. Because that's fairly obvious, I think that'll do as a justification we can say. Uh, the algorithm runs no slower on n not four to the i. So on ends that are not powers of four. And that completes this problem. This is kind of a quick one. We were just working with that tree up above. For our next problem, we'll go on to the next part.